Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's that time of year again when I'm messing around with my Telecaster. So, the issue today, well, and the issue for the past six months is essentially having having a um, tremolo system in here. Basically, there's five springs in the back. If you've seen the previous video, you'll be a bit more familiar with the whole process I've gone, I've undergone. But the amount of string tension from the 12 strings, in this case only 9 because I've broke 3 of them, um, the amount of string tension pulling the tremolo system this way is too much for the 5 springs in the back to handle and is meaning this is completely off centre um, in, in both ways, it's a little bit too far that way and of course this is, I mean, and it affects the, um, you can see the high E of the low E, you know, the octave of the low E, that's almost falling off, off, off the, um, off the fretboard. And of course it's going to mess with the intonation. It also messes with string height because it's, it's, um, lifting from the body. You can kind of see there it's angled up this way. Um, and so, the remedy for that, I'm giving up with the tremolo system. It was fun while it lasted, but I haven't been a way to, I haven't found a way to properly resolve it. So I'm just going to hard tail it basically. So got a tunematic bridge. Bridge is just going to sit right there, just parallel to my Nirvana sticker, and then of course the bridge is just going to sit there. However, as you may have seen. I have routed out a massive hole for the tremolo block, meaning I'm going to have to add in a block to for the posts of of the of the bridge. Luckily, the um, uh, the stop tail can fit in there just fine. But yes, so I'm going to take off all the strings, remove the bridge, and see if I can get some sort of block to fit in there. <clears throat> so I took off the bridge, but another point. If you see my for first video, or second video, the amount of trauma I put this through, it caused this piece of wood to chip. I mean, you can see the quality of the wood there, it's not um, very good, and on the inside here. But, so I just put in some wood glue, and I'm going to finally fix that. That was being held together just by the bridge, just with screws, but... Um, and it was another part of... The issue as to why the bridge was raised, um, you know, and affecting the string height, it was because of the fact that this piece of wood was not sitting flush with the um, with the rest of the thing, and it was causing the pit guards to slightly raise. It still doesn't sit completely flush, but that's not an issue due to the fact um, the tunematic bridge isn't going to be um, isn't going to be resting upon it. Um, of course, it's just going to have its own separate bit, and it's not going to be as wide because it's not going to have to have this cut up for the tremolo piece. So anyway, um, that is it without the bridge. Of course, there's no springs. I still have that the claw which I can take out. I can also take out this block as well, which I had originally put in there in the first video that I ever did of modding this guitar. That was because the I I broke all the wood that was all the wood that was right here had broken away and I couldn't put the claw in. I'm going to keep this claw in actually now that I just look at it because it's grounded. So I'm not going to get rid of it just as current moment. I'll screw these screws tight up so it's not going to be rattling around so much. If there is any issues with ground, of course, then I will have to ground it to the bushings of the uh, of, of, of the tunematic bridge, but I'm hoping I will not have to do that and this could just act as a ground. This does leave the ground wire quite exposed and leaves the risk of it breaking away quite easily, however. That's an issue for another day. So that's locked in place now. Now it's just going to be finding a block that fits in there and yeah, I'll be back to do that. <clears throat> All right, here's the um, here's the piece of wood that I got. Um, it's just a piece of pallet wood, and it's blue. And 
you know, it was just a piece of scrap wood that I just cut off just to fit in here. Put some wood glue around it, a very light coating. Really, I want this to be stuck on just through friction, and it seems to be so far, it's really quite tight, tight fit. Um, I need to use the mallet to uh, properly get it all the way in. I did test fit it a little bit, and then you see it gets stuck here, and I need to... Um, and I need to use the mallet. So I'll do that and then I'll carry on with the rest of it. Right, here it is. It's all um, been hammered in. It's uh, completely flush. I had to do some chiseling just on the back side just to make sure it was properly down there. There was about a millimeter gap on this side, however. I managed to get that down. Now, time for the bridge. So it's approximately going to sit just just there and it's slightly um, annoying as the holes I'll have to drill will be around like they're gonna cut into both sides of the wood hopefully that's not going to affect the 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 grip of the bushings um, here, here here they are you know it, it's, that's about one centimeter um, yeah the um, the diameter of here is about one centimeter and then Including the bushings, it's about one centimeter, one point one centimeters. So um, it's, it's 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 not a lot of it's not a lot of room. However, the drill bit I've got on I think is about nine to eight millimeters. So I'm hoping, you know, when once it's in there, it's properly in there, so I won't have to worry. So anyway, arguably the most important step right now because I need to properly line this up with the um, with the nut and also. Um, make sure it's the right scale length, which I'll do now. All right, so most is done. I added the bridge, however, it's the first little mistake. Um, I started to drill the hole here, but realized it was a couple millimeters out. So then I had to drill it again, and it's made the bushing not sit like really, it's not tight at all. Um, which is very annoying, however, it should be fine once there's string tension on it, it's not going to fall out or anything, it'll just be like a floating one. This one, this one is fine, it's perfect, it's just this one, um, and there is a little bit of a gap which on the other side which you can't see, however, in terms of scale length, it's you know perfectly 25 and a half inches, so now I just need to do the bridge which is going to be significantly easier. As long as it's parallel to this, it's fine. Um, this is all. This is all square. I'm pretty sure, as well. Um, the bridge. One also, dis, um, I like or also another thing that I'm quite unsure about. The, the furthest um, away the saddles are. So from so from this saddle to this saddle, the most furthest away. Is 5.5 centimeters on the nut it's four centimeters so I'm really unsure as to whether that 1.5 centimeters 0.75 centimeters on each side you know because 1.5 divided by two is two sides um, is going to properly um, taper out correctly and have it not you know there could be a point where it's like really hanging off at the edges here I'm really hoping it's not going to do that, but I don't know. Also, another thing I just realized, I accidentally scratched my... Never mind. Um, sticker ticket thing, which I got from uh, pre-ordering the um, Live at Paramount thing they did. Got that sticker, which is unfortunate, but hey ho, whatever, it's fine. Still kind of there. This guitar is battle-scarred enough, to be honest, but... Just adding more mojo to it. I think this really adds to it. I really like this little blue block. I did it intentionally. I could have done a normal one, but obviously some colour spice it up a little bit. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, I'm just going to do that. And here we are. So, it's, uh, again, I made the same mistake. Didn't measure it just a millimetre out or so, and then this, the bar wouldn't fit, you know. The stop, the bushing was here. It had to be... Here, you know, millimeters difference. Another little mistake I realized is uh, the 
um, this because there's so much room around this this hole for the bushing. The bushing can actually sink into the guitar a little bit, which of course can be rectified by just unscrewing the thread and increasing the string height on that side. But it's still just a little bit annoying, you know. Um, again, none of these things should make a massive difference, and even if they do, I can just fix it with some, you know, sawdust, a little wedge to put in there. Um, I don't have strings, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to have to wait till Christmas for those. But um, yeah, that's until then. That's just been me changing out the bridge. I hope you have enjoyed, and if you do enjoy these videos, I will continue to upload them. Please like and subscribe. I've got more videos planned, covers and everything, and maybe a setup when I do get strings for this. I've got some more things planned. And yeah, thank you for watching, and um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.